Good evening all and welcome to a very special video for more Howl the Ale. I say very special because this is a beer that has been sent specially to me um, from a very good bloke over in Northern Ireland, uh, Graham. I salute you for this one. Um, so yeah, this has come all the way from Northern Ireland from Whitewater Brewing Co. And it is this one. It is Belfast Ale. And Graham sent these to me. Um, I'd, I'd sent them to be the other way actually. Um, and he decided he's going to send a few in return. So he sent me a few from uh, from his neck of the woods. I sent him some from mine. I sent him some Fuller's. And he sent me some uh, Whitewater Brewing Co. And this is the first one that I'm trying. So the Belfast Ale. What can I tell you about it? Well, it says, Our adventure got up and flowing on the banks of the Whitewater in 1996. Upriver in the mountains of the Morn. On our fifth generation family farm, we did our first brew in my great grandfather's shed. That's what I like, a little bit of history. And it says, ever since we've been doing what we like, trying what we think we'll like, and making beer we hope you'll like. Like this amber ale, we've used three different hop varieties to achieve a distinctive bitterness and a smooth finish. And uh, there we are. That's what it says. And what else can I tell you? Well, it's got the usual ingredients, malted barley, wheat, hops, water, and yeast. Um, it's a 500 ml bottle, and it is 4.5% ABV, and... It actually tells you how much energy it contains. So for every 100 mil, there's uh, 126 calories. But we don't care about the calories. We just care what it tastes like. So there we are. So that's the beer. Let's crack her open and uh, see what she tastes like. So, and in true goblin community, um, it's going in the hobgoblin glass. So the pour is, as expected, it's amber in color. We are. We've got a little bit of, a little bit of off-white head. It's clear as you like. A little light carbonation, that finger or so of off-white head, and as for the aromas, malty. There is a nice hot presence there. It's a sweet hot presence. It smells good to the taste. Cheers. I like that. It's got a very clean taste to it. Some ambers and indeed many reds as well, they can be quite kind of cloying. This is refreshing. It's very tasty. Mm. There's a balance to this beer. You've got clean, fresh, green hops, if you will, and a sweet malt in the back end. Very tasty. Body's light to medium, just right for the for the style. It's really Moorish. Mm. That's going to go down well. It's been about what 28 degrees outside today. Yeah, this here Belfast ale, very very tasty indeed. Now, I had no idea what to expect um, from white water. The only thing I know is that uh, Graham's a big fan of Maggie's Leap and I've got one of those sitting in the fridge as well. That's coming up later on tonight. Um, that is Graham's favourite but uh, I'm a big amber ale fan. That's why I'm trying this one first and I'm not disappointed. So, mm, would I, would I buy this again? Well, okay, I've not bought it, it was given to me. Um, so would I buy it? I would. Would I rush out and buy it? I would. And I'll tell you why. I mean, you'll know I love my amber ales. I've just already mentioned I love Spitfire. Um, I love things like Old Speckled Hen. I love Champion. I love th th those multi beers. But this offers something that not many of the others do. You've got a nice green hot presence and it's fresh and clean and really it's it's different and i like that it's different in a very very good way so yes i would rush out and buy it i just hope they deliver um i'm gonna have to go shopping for some of this yeah graham i can see why you like this brewery it's very very tasty so 
what do I like? Well, I like, obviously, the, the sweet malt. I love the green hops. I love the fresh, clean taste. And I have to say, um, should I say this out loud? It's as good as, if not better, than Spitfire. Yeah, controversial, I know. Um, because I have been a lifelong fan of Spitfire. I grew up with it and I drunk more of it than I can shake a stick at. And my old man, it was his favorite beer. And I know that he would love this. He really would. Mm. So, I need to give it a score. It's great. Really, really good. I have to say, hand on heart, it ticks all my boxes. You've got good hops, you've got good malt, you've got clean, fresh taste, and best of all, it was sent by someone who thoroughly, thoroughly enjoys his beer, and that gets extra points. Not really on the beer itself, but you know, it gets brownie points. And I've got to give it five out of five. You know, I have to. I cannot fault it in any way, shape or form. It is a genuinely brilliant brew. So thank you, Graham, for sending me this lovely beer. Thank you, Whitewater Brew, for brewing the beer. Thank you all for watching. I've been Nick, and I'll see you again soon in another video.